Hey everyone, welcome back to Forza Motorsport 1 and in this episode we're going to attempt to complete the last um, RGT um, event which is located within the Championship Series and then we can move on to the RGTS events. I think there's three of those to do, if I remember, three RGTS events and then um, four P1 events. I think it's P1, yeah. So that's my aim, is to get through all of the, you know, the high tier sort of races and then see where we are after that. But uh, we've got this RGT one to do. Eight races. And um, we are currently in the Mustang from the previous episode. But I think to make this easier, I would go in the Viper. But I kind of like using all the cars. I know this Audi is going to be absolutely terrible. But I might try the one we've just won. 911 GT3 Cup. Just to see. If it is crap, then I can just quickly change out. And um, I'd probably go for the Viper because um, we've only used that once and it is very good. So I'll make things easier. But I do want to try this car out. So going into this Class RGT Championship in the Championship Series. Right, we've got Maple Valley 2, which is short. Alpine Ring, Maple Valley Long. Rio de Janeiro, Blue Mountains Raceway, New York, Laguna Seca and Nürburgring. So no um, Silverstone in there, but Laguna Seca and the Maple Valleys and the Blue Mountains... They're going to be a bit tricky. Rio's not easy either. But we'll start on the short. The 17 laps. Last time I did this, the AI were really good on this. So we'll have to see how we do. And I'm pretty sure the only car we haven't unlocked is the... Um, there's another Viper competition and also uh, a Volvo. But to unlock the Volvo, I need to do a D-Class Endurance event, which I'm not going to do at this point. Because that's a bit of an anti-climax. I just got pushed off the track. Maybe I should have restarted that. Hmm, how does this feel? Bit slidey. Right, let's do that again. I've collided into the Viper already. Just trying to nozzle my way through. Not happening. Oh, God, I'm breaking terribly. It's actually not got good cornering either. I remember seeing the stats, but I'm driving terribly. Yep. I'm determined to at least win one event in this car. No, dodge. Oh. See, why did he break so much then? Completely throws me off. I hate this game for racing. I honestly do. I can't race with the other cars in this game. There we go. Right, inside of him. He's turning into me. This game is so annoying. I'm coming around the inside. Just let me pass. He's doing it again. And there we go. That's one car I haven't driven yet. The Cadillac. I'd like to see how that drives. That was an unorthodox way of going around the corner, and he's taking advantage of that. And for some reason, the Cadillac flies around there. We're going to try and get him around the inside, though. Wish we can't. And he's going to win this. And I fucked up. Fuck it, we're using the Viper. I really tried. I really tried then. I can't do it in this car. Tried my best. Tried for a good 15 minutes. That car is not good enough to drive. It's just annoying. But um, you could t kind of tell from the stats that it wasn't good. On cornering and stuff. So we'll go back in the Viper. Good old reliable. Because there are 8 races. So kind of need to you know, get this going. Don't want to take all day on an event. Oops. Um, right. Back again we go. This should be a lot less dramatic in this car. And we're in fourth anyway. It's just easier altogether, isn't it? You just got to know which cars to use and which cars not to use. And... Immediately, this handles like an absolute beast. I 
Oops, that was a bit terrible. I can't even tell what that is in front. Is that the Audi or a Volvo? I think that's a Volvo, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's so stupidly aggressive, the AI on this game. Oh, it's so much easier in the Viper. It's unbelievable. This is the GT car to use. Without a shadow of a doubt. Everything about it. To be honest, that GT3 Cup car was probably the hardest car I've had to drive for the GT. Uh, GT class. I'm pretty sure... so slidey. I think the GT3 RS, the other Porsche in the GT class, I think that was better. The difference here is unbelievable. I think for winning this championship we get another Viper actually. Oh shit. I need to watch the road. I've done this far too many times. And it never ends well for me. And I should know that by now. The difference between this and that Porsche is unbelievable. I'm already three seconds ahead. You can just chuck this car into the corners so easily. It's even miles better than the Z06 and the Mustang, which were pretty decent, you know, and held their own, but this car is something else. Oops. I'm not a massive fan of uh, this short Maple Valley track for racing, if I'm honest. It's so small. It is the smallest track in the game, isn't it? It must be. The fact that I'm still pulling away is mental. Oops. That was terribly slidey. Did I use this car last time on this track? Or was it an S-Class event that I was in? I can't remember now. I'm sure it was GT. I'm taking awful lines this lap for some reason. Right, what's uh, eight and a half laps, isn't it? It's about halfway. You can literally hold the accelerator. It's exactly the same as that um, Skyline GTS car where there's just barely any oversteer. Not quite the same as the Skyline because the Skyline was ridiculous with grip. Like, if I planted the accelerator right now, I'd get oversteer, but most of the time, this thing is very stable and just grips like shit around the corner. And that's a good thing. I don't mean the grip is shit. But once more, we're looking at a crazy long episode. But I'm hoping this car is the key to a happy life full of 
no stress and nice lap times. Which is a life all of us racers want. Are we pulling away from them or is it staying the same? 4.3, I think we're pulling away. Wasn't quite right through that. I hit that damn curb again. Like the Porsche couldn't fly through there at full speed. I had to ease off a lot because it was sliding quite a lot around there. I was a bit better around there, but... Oh dear. Oh dear, we're skidding. I'm looking forward to the P1 races. I'm not really sure what to expect, really. That's a good line through there. I think I can go much quicker around there than I actually am going. That's a bit wide. Eight thousandths. It's my best lap, and it was really slow at the end there. Get more consistent at this corner, at least. Yeah, yeah, you can go way quicker through there. I'm going to stick in fifth gear as well. And that's the line. That's it. Bit slidey through there, but we had a quicker exit, so that's expected. Three tenths. Is this going to be a 10 minute race? Slightly more. The pack is very divided. I'm not sure how the game expects you to use the slower cars in the class as well. I guess on lower difficulties you can manage it, but... Like, if that Porsche was that bad, that Audi must be terrible. In the handling department. Which is fair enough, isn't it? I mean, it's a saloon car. Well, the Cadillac's a saloon car, and the Mustang is as well, in all fairness, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's in the right class still. Right, two more laps to go. I'm trying to think what was next now. Was it Alpine Ring? And then we're back to Maple Valley again. They seem to have done this on the last few events, actually, when they go from the short back to the the full version of the track in the same championship. Yeah, I've actually been going really wide through that section. So that was much better that time. Oh dear, that line was awful. I 
Well, it was fairly comfortable. I want to see what was behind me. I think it was probably the Cadillac, because that was pushing me last time. Could be the Z06, could be the Viper, though. It's the Z06, which got a better lap than me. Which is fair enough, I concede that. Um, are we level 50? No. Should be at the end of the next event, if not the event after. Ah, the other car I've not seen, or seen where to win, is that Impreza, actually. I think everything else I'm pretty much either own or seen in the shop. That was a pretty slow launch from myself. Everybody's going past, including my identical Viper. He's decided to brake. That is not how you do a first corner. I thought the brakes were very good. And they are very good, but not quite that good. That's a better launch. I think I bogged down a bit in the first attempt. That Cadillac is absolutely rapid, though. He's braking. They're all braking, actually. Oh, dear. Let's get to grips with this. The two four-wheel drive cars are obviously in first, as you can see. That's the corner that I'm probably the worst at in the entire game. I'm not worried about this track, though, because we will catch up. In fact, we might overtake him before here. Ah, uh, this is not good, because he's going to kill me. Yeah. In fact, I probably could use that Porsche on this track, but I can't bother quitting and changing car and all that stuff. Nine laps of this. I think they're around sort of 10 to 12 minute races again. How was that damage? I lifted off then. There's not many braking marks on this track either. Just got that about right. Well, that call is much easier to do in a car that doesn't oversteer like hell, because every car I've used on this track that I've tried to do that, I'm pretty sure I oversteered a lot. This is such a breeze, this track, though. Literally because of this one chicane. Oh, going sideways around there. Right idea, wrong line. I'm going to say the mountains actually look pretty good for a 2005 game. Just all generally looks pretty decent. This car is amazing. I just make up my own line through that. I just pray it's enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you know what? I'm just going to carry on because what is actually damaged? My right brake, I think, and I don't know what that is. Is it the drivetrain? All oh, the turnings actually affected a little bit there. Well, here we go. It's a handicap race now. I clipped the inside of that curb and it sent me flying to the right. Because we don't need the money now. It's getting to the point where um, we've got so much of it and we're nearly ranked 50. What is that between? 
What is that on the picture? I'm trying to picture what it is. It's between the engine and the drive shaft. I don't really know my mechanics that well. I'm going with drivetrain. But I don't know how I managed to damage the drivetrain with that collision. It's only yellow anyway, it's not the worst. Right, I'm going to avoid that curb, that's better, because that did not go well. I think it's accelerating slower. And I'm not sure how... Is it the right brake that's damaged, or what is that? Well, it actually wasn't as bad as it could have been, which is pretty lucky. As we move on to lap number five. So we could have been level 50 by the end of this race, but it's probably not going to happen now. Right, that seems to be the way. Sort of got it down in this car a little bit more. Absolutely ruined this car now. No, it's done it again. No. Oh, God. We didn't get any damage. Why is it just changed into reverse? Oh. oh, my God. Why do I do this? More importantly, how have I not got damage from that? This game doesn't make any sense. Now I'm about to waste loads of time trying to catch him up now. Well, I've got to make it interesting, right? I don't know, that's quite an ask to catch them up now. Possible. I'm all about the entertainment, you know? It's whether I can pass them without either crashing into them or crashing again by myself. I'm absolutely baffled I didn't get any more damage from whatever just happened around here. And I'm doing things I shouldn't be doing. That was a bit naughty from him, but uh, it's not the worst move an AI's pulled. He's going to dive bomb me, though. This is not good. My brakes are gone. Don't do it. I hate this game so much. I'm never catching him up now. Absolutely no chance. Oh, this Volvo. Just go away, man. You're ruining everything. so far ahead. Well, it was self-inflicted once more. Got two laps to try and catch him up. My car is an absolute wreck. I think the brakes are knackered. Just 
breaking a bit earlier there this time. This Lavalvo is off my arse now. Another two seconds ahead. Could I do this? Depends on this corner. Oh my, we're actually catching them. Oh, this is possible now. This is an intense last lap coming up. Like I said, it's the entertainment value. The Corvette's not done so well there. The Cadillac's sprinted ahead. They do an interesting line through there. It's a bit late on the brakes for me. Oh, that was all bad. That's annoying because this track's really easy and I've just absolutely ruined it twice. No. Oh, God. Oh dear. Oh, he's only gone and done it. Has he? I don't know. Yes. Oh. Oh. That was ridiculous. That should not have been that stressful, but... <laughs> Managed to somehow pull that off. A lot of damage everywhere. Yeah, I did damage the brakes. Gearbox. It was the gearbox, not the drivetrain. Of course it was. Whatever. Uh, I would have got to level 50 there. But um, yeah, I hope that was entertaining. That was certainly a different kind of race. Right, back to Maple Valley we go. This time, it's the long route. That was not good. That was a bit of an understatement. What I meant was that was shite. <laughs> Call Sunny event number three, this one. That Cadillac literally did not give a crap about that corner. He just wanted to take me out, I think. I had to go wide there, otherwise I was going to crash into that Audi. It's so slow, that Audi. It really is. I think it's the, the worst in the class. Is that Nissan 350Z as well? It doesn't look so good. What is the right line through there? Whatever they're taking looks like the correct one, but I can't seem to follow that. This Cadillac is rapid. I think that's going to happen. I'm in exactly the same place as the last lap, just struggling to get past this Volvo. Right. Yeah. I'm clear. Right, let's not crash this time. That's my aim. This corner feels very good in the Viper.
This part of the track annoys me because I have to lift off the trigger every time there's a bump. Okay, that feels like the line. This one, I can't get right, though. Try braking later that time and cutting back in. Mm, that might be it. Although it doesn't feel right braking late. On that corner, especially. This corner I don't get at all. You've really got to go slow up there. Otherwise, well, you saw what happened last time. I get uh, acquainted with the barrier. Yeah, they drive this part of the track really slowly. Again, just going over the tiniest bump. Engine damage. All day, every day. Do you carry on going up levels after level 50, or is that it? Is that the max rank? That was very close to stacking it. All I'm saying is this game would be so hard if you couldn't use the good cars. And immediately I'm braking far too early, so I'm not following my other line that I did. That was really bad. That's second down, look. Again, I'm not sure of the line around there at all. And I don't know what I'm doing at this current moment. Oh, I'm messing this up, right? Let's get a good lap in after this because that was just an abysmal lap. Is that halfway? No, it's not even halfway yet. That corner is actually quite hard to do quickly. Something's catching me up. What is it? Is it the Cadillac? Right, brake late. Brake late. No, that's too late. Not that late. Oh, I don't know. That corner can just do one. And something's really catching me up. And I can't do that without sliding all over the shop. Right, we should pull away on this bit now. They're just going to catch me up on the second half, uh, the first half of the track. I've got to watch it for that inside wall as well, because I'm known for decapitating my car on those. I'm getting engine damage now from stupid little bumps. It, but you don't know where they are on the track, like all of them, so it's just so unfair. Right, so it's four seconds here, and then through here is going to catch up, like, so much. That felt decent. I'm sure that's sort of the right line there. That feels okay.
And we'll go a bit more casually around that bit. Feels a bit better. Although it was slower, apparently. I'm just going a bit casually around here because we do not need to speed to try and get like the quickest lap ever. There we go. I just left lifted off the front. Well, no damage this time. That's the first time on that corner. I've had no engine damage. See, I don't know if fifth or fourth is better around there. Again, look how spread out the field is. So we know it's either the Z06 or the Cadillac that's behind. I've got to try that Cadillac out, although this is the last GT event, so I won't be able to now. But um, yeah, you can't drive every car in the game, can you, I guess? That was a big oops. Man, this is only the third event. Still got Blue Mountains to go. And um, something else. Rio de Janeiro. New York, which is fine. Not bothered about that. Nürburgring, that's fine also. And um, what else is there? There was something else which was a difficult track. I'm trying to think what it was. Uh, oh, Laguna Seca. Yeah, this should be fine on Laguna Seca, though. This was really nice last time I drove on that. Du, 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 du. Apparently that's half a second better than my last lap, or my best lap. And that's now ruined it, because I went sideways through the entirety of that. And all my tyres went warm. Because apparently that's instantaneous, that uh, tyre temperature. And it goes back down. I don't know what I was just doing for that last bit. Whatever was in second was clearly miles better than the other cars there. There we go. Not too bad in the end. What was in second? Was it the Z06? Was it the Cadillac? Or was it the Viper? It was the Cadillac. Didn't get a good lap, though. I managed to do better on that. They do drive slow on that. But this is the moment of truth. Maximum level, so you can't get any higher than level 50. 8 million 99,000 credits. A bit strange. Oh, they actually sent me a Speed 12. That's awesome. I thought that just meant we unlocked a Speed 12. Oh, that's really cool. Excellent. But here it is. The legendary Speed 12. Isn't it funny that on PGR2 and on this game, the top prize car is the TVR Speed 12? 800 horsepower. It's just obviously just a beast in every game, isn't it? Looks so good. And this is what I'm going to be using for some S-Class events, because I have to. I've got to try this. I've got to try the ME412, the Chrysler. But then there's also the Porsche Crow GT and the Ferrari Enzo I want to use, but I'm not going to get a chance to use them all. This is top of the list, though. Right, move on to the next, next event. Right, this is going to pose a bit of a challenge, this one. I'm never good on this track. But we're in the legendary Viper, so... Actually, wasn't there another Viper? Viper GTS in this class, or was that a GTS GTS car? Right. I knew that was going to happen, but it's fine. Just got to watch out for the Cadillac, man, because that is really pulling its weight in this class at the minute. 
the Viper stretching its legs and it's probably got the best top speed out of all the cars, which is great. Ah, I'm going to smash. Smashy, smashy. Didn't happen. Managed to avoid that. That's just a, a testament to these brakes. Right, come on, let's start driving. Well, I got no damage there, but a penalty, unfortunately. Pretty close in a straight line, actually. I'm literally changing how I'm driving because I don't know where he's going. And I don't like sticking behind them on this game, like normal racing games, because you just don't know what they're going to do, and the, the damage and penalties are just annoying. So far, the Volvo's getting away. Six laps. Seems a bit short. Well, that corner I always wreck. And here's the Cadillac saying hi. I'm scared. It's going to dive bomb me. Right, come on. Let's drive well. We can do this. I'm scared of that hitting my inside. That is so quick. Oh man, I'm getting all these corners wrong. Still haven't got that much damage though. <laughs> this game's been very lenient with me. Right, come on, let's catch this Volvo up. Stop messing around. I'm really driving terribly. Let's... Just get it under control. It's really slow through there as well. I'm more bothered about the Cadillac than the Volvo, because we will catch that Volvo up. It's just a shame that I'm trash at this track. That's smoother. There we go. He sounds so close behind me. That Volvo is actually getting away at this point. Much better line. Right. Get in the draft zone of this. Swedish bastard. <laughs> It's not going to end well. I'm going to back out. Oh, I just need to get past him, but we're so matched in speed that... See, last time we didn't break round there, so why is he doing it this time? Man, their line round there is superb. Clip the inside of him. I can't get past this damn Volvo. This is it. It's got to be it. He's on the inside, though. And he's going to cut me off. God. Right, he's gone for the dive bomb, which is good. We needed that. Yes.
Done. Actually, not a clean move, but it's fine. I did try and avoid that. And that was halfway through the race. We can chill out a bit now, unless that Cadillac does start coming back. That Volvo is driving really well on this track, though. You do, I do over, overestimate the brakes a little bit on this. I'm putting a bit too much faith in them, so I'm having to back off from my original braking points that I thought. Because I'm trying to think what I drove on here last time. It was something good. But this has got the best brakes in the class. I'm pretty sure it has. Which is why I'm surprised that the AI, the driving this car, don't come near the top. Because it's always the Z06. Or the Cadillac. Strange. And the Volvo, obviously, this time. It's not normally, I'm pretty sure. I'm slowly learning the track. It's much better to go around there. They don't take that line at all. They go really wide on that corner. It's actually a bit of a drift, which is not what I wanted, but it was okay. And they're actually having a battle, which is great for me, so I can stretch my legs down the straight with no worries. So normally when you're racing in racing games, you break early and, you know, judge the corner nicely. But when they're right behind you on this game, you actually want to break late because it's, it's not worth it. Getting dive bombed is like the worst thing on this. Is that halfway then? We're looking at possibly a two hour episode, which is a bit shorter than some of my other ones I've done. In terms of me recording, not in terms of how much footage you guys will see. Three hours is my record so far. I'm trying to think which one that was. A few episodes ago now. It may have been the one where I was using the Z06. And uh, what was a very close race is now a nice walk in the park. But now we have no aim to rank up. That's it. Level 50. And not even 50% of the way through the events done. I'm pretty sure, though, it's not quite balanced because the amateur events are really short, aren't they, in terms of the races. So I think it counts each race as like a percentage. But obviously, the races in these are much longer than the amateur races. So I think we're actually further than halfway through the game. Unless that's count... Oh, the P1, though. They have, like, ten events, don't they? In those, um... In those, um, championships. So that's going to take ages. That's probably not going to be uh, done in one sitting, I don't think. Depends on how, how good they are. All the cars that I use and how good I am and how hard it is. But yeah, pretty sure I can't use either of the CLK or the 911 that I've won, which is really annoying. Because they're going to get outclassed heavily.
Are we at Blue Mountains next? It's Blue Mountains, New York, and um, Nürburgring, and another one that I can't remember. What came second in the end, then? Did the um, Volvo hold on? It did. Then the Cadillac. I got a quick lap in, actually. So all these credits are useless. What do we do? I think 8 million was the, the target for level 50 then, I guess. Miles in the lead, 40 points. Where are we next? It's Blue Mountains. And we're going the, uh, the normal way around this time. Six laps. This is usually very difficult, this track. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get past him. Constantly hitting into the back of him. Oh, no. That's going to be a restart, I think. I can't lose any ground on this. This track is brutal, so... Nothing worse on a really hard racing game when you're stuck behind a car that's slower and you're trying to catch up to the top car. Here we go. Right. That's better. Now I can concentrate on the Volvo. Oh, we've got the Corvette behind us now as well. It's not good. Not the right line at all. I've just clipped the inside of the curb. Maybe she'll be in second round here, actually. It's going to be really hard to catch him up on this track. Oh, God, he's a second ahead. I'm going to have to catch up on the chicane bit. Vo uh, the um, Corvette's pretty close behind. Oh. The hitboxes, man. I thought I had space there on the left, but obviously not. I'll try on the cut back. Well, I'm close behind him, which is good. I didn't need that oversteer. Draft zone's really helping me keep up with him. Can't overtake at all on this bit. I think we're getting away from the Corvette though, which is nice. Yeah, second round is quite nice. They do this section really quickly. Oh no, I just followed his line there like an idiot. Oh, so annoying. Tell 
tactical blocking. That was the worst I've done that by some distance, I think. Jesus, he's not giving me much room there, is he? And now he's doing the the waving line and took the Corvette out. That's fine. We love to see it. I've had some close races in this so far. I've been a bit uh, aggressive with my tactics, but whatever. If you've got to win on this game, you've got to win. Still got ages to go, that's the thing. Oh no, that was all terrible. I was so bad at this part of the track, it's unbelievable. And that was too late. Okay, we've got a bit of a lead, slight lead. It's really close to this, us three here. I don't know where the Cadillac is in all of this. That was a bit smoother. Yes, can they fight, please? Give me a break. We've got three more laps to go. Jeez, this is well long. I need to change down to second more often, actually. It's not bad in this car. In quite a few cars, I try to avoid the lower gears. Being second here is going to help me turn around the corners, I think. That was about right. Right, we've got a bit of a lead. Coming up to this bloody thing again. Let's go a bit more cash around here this time. Don't want to be crashing. It's actually really hard, that. That's my best lap because it was the only lap that I haven't been fighting with uh, someone else on. I think the Volvo's still ahead. Someone else is catching up, though. Well, that was nearly a spin. Out of nowhere. Oh no, we're going to wide. One lapse concentration. 
This is where this game's really difficult. It needs stamina and endurance of your concentration to drive consistently quickly. There's no, like, short part of it that's really difficult. It's like, the whole thing's hard, and you have to concentrate through all of it. I didn't get a good look at what's catching me up there. I'm second down because of that. There's three of them really close together there. It's definitely the Volvo Z06, and I'd imagine it would be the Cadillac there. Right, last lap. This is a tad bit longer, this race, than normal. It's a 12 minute one, this. The car's behind them three are miles behind. This track is so hard to do on this game. Well, it's only on this game, isn't it? But you know what I mean. That's wide. We've got four seconds buffer, though. That's good. That was actually really bad. And we've got a bit of engine damage. It doesn't matter now, though. Credits do not matter whatsoever because we've got so many cars. And unlimited credits basically to do what we want. Because we're not going to spend four million or whatever. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Exactly 12 minutes, pretty much. Who came second? The Volvo ha hung on, the Z06, and then the CTS very close behind. They don't seem to overtake each other very much, obviously, on this. But I actually got a very good lap in that. Surprisingly. Happy with that. Now we don't care about credits at all. Moving on to um, the next one. Uh, we've got three more, haven't we? There's an eight-race championship. Laguna Seca, that was the other one. So it's Laguna Seca, New York, and Nürburgring, but I don't know which order it's in. Right, so, New York. This one is usually pretty easy, to be honest. And the laps aren't too bad, usually, either. I think it's a two-minute lap, so we're looking at a ten-minute race. All depends on this first corner. That Cadillac is ridiculously quick. I'm actually finding myself in fifth place right now. Well, I managed to recover that somehow. Jesus, can everyone just leave me alone? Have I not got any damage yet either? That seems a bit mental. They're having a bit of a kerfuffle. I uh, judged that way too late. Again, we're in the same situation where I'm behind this slow Audi. Now we should catch them both up, though. I 
Here's the moment. There we go. Right, let's catch us up a Volvo, eh? I'm surprised I didn't get much damage in that, to be honest. I'm breaking way too late. The Audi's breaking later than me. It's usually easy, this, so I'm hoping we should be able to catch him up quite easily. Although it's no slouch in a straight line, that Volvo, they're all pretty close in a straight line. The Cadillac seems to be, like, horrendously quick. I don't know what the hell he's doing right now. He's weaving all over the place. Is he drunk? I did really try and get out of the way of that. Where's his spoiler gone? I did not do that. Of course, even the draft zone that Volvo's pulling. Maybe it's because it's lost its wing. Top speed's not actually too bad in this, you know. Surprisingly, it, it didn't crash. Well, slightly. I just braked way too early there, though. I'm scared of overshooting it, but I'm also scared of getting dive-bombed. It's a horrible thing to do, or to be in. I'm doing these corners terribly. Here we go, now we're doing it. And he's crashed, I think, there. That's the breathing room we needed. I've done the same thing on this corner, though. I don't know why in this car I keep overshooting the brakes, keep braking too late. But it should be smooth sailing from here. I'm still yet to pit on this um, on this track. Will it be in an endurance race? Because there's 10 endurance races, there's more than 10 tracks, so I don't know if it will make an appearance. But that's the only time you really need the pits, unless you're really damaged, but you're not likely to do it in a normal race because you're just going to come last place if you pit. I don't think I've ever seen him go around that corner without hitting the wall, if I'm honest. It's better there, apart from the oversteer. That was dreadful. Right, this is the corner I keep messing up. A little bit too early that time. Early's better than late, though.
Here's a question. Is Laguna Seca still sponsored by Mazda? I've just seen that on there. What's the relation to Mazda? Do they fund to, bu to build the track? Are they just the sponsor of the track? What's the deal with that? Does anyone know that? And is it still Mazda Laguna Seca or is it just Laguna Seca? Because it's all the way over here, Mazda sponsors... Oh dear. That's weird, because I thought I'd break nearly at the same point then as last time, but clearly not. Again, I'm surprised I didn't get much damage there. Is it still the Volvo behind me? They're miles ahead of third place. Oh, something's just passed me. That was nice. Same issue there. I keep thinking I'm breaking at the right point, but maybe shooting it again. bit better through that. This has been a terrible lap. There we go. Did that corner right this time. How far behind are the last two? Like, seriously. Crap. Actually, this is longer than I thought this race. It is actually 12 minutes, going to be. I don't want to have Laguna Seca towards the end of the bloody episode when my concentration is a bit less. God, what a terrible exit that was. This lap was just absolutely horrendous. Still got ages to go. It's been an hour and a half recording. If Laguna Seca goes well... And Nurburgring go well. We should be all right for time. I stayed in fourth by accident. I'm not concentrating so much now. This car is the one, though. The Z06 and the Mustang were nice, but this is this is the one. It seems the GT class is dominated by Americans. American cars. Dodge Viper, Ford Mustang, Cadillac CTS, Chevrolet Z06. And the Porsches are lacking. The Audi's lacking. So that's the Germans. The Volvo seems all right, though. What else was in there? Subaru wasn't brilliant, was it? All the Japanese ones are in the GTS, aren't they?
And the Nissan 350Z, that's also lacking in this. So yeah, the Americans have, uh, are dominating this GT, the RGT class. And got a penalty right at the very last bit there. There you go. New York's always fine, though, really. Don't have any problems with that. Was that the Volvo still behind us? I imagine it was. Yeah, it was. There we go. More credits that we're not going to use. And off to Laguna Seca next. So this track usually is a pain in the arse, but hopefully in the Viper, we should be fine. Maybe here. Oh, that's a bit risky what I'm doing right now. And I knew that was going to happen. Risky it was, paid off it did not. Oh, this track is so hard. Right, I'm going to have to restart that again. That Volvo's going to get completely away. He's miles ahead. That's three seconds at least. Um, yeah. What do you do with this game? I've literally tried so hard. I was scraping tents back on the Volvo. In comes the Cadillac. Just literally dies on me. Not even a chance. How is this track so difficult? This this is meant to have the best cornering and braking in the class, this car, and still... I'm getting absolutely pwned by the Cadillac. I need to get past this car. That Cadillac cannot get into second place. This track's insane. The difficulty. I'm trying so hard, and I'm really trying to get my lines right. 1.2. Other than tuning the car, I can't think of anything else to do. They're both catching up. Come on. Where the hell is that Corvette going? That Volvo is incredible in a straight line.
Oh my god, it's so close. Bunty wide there. I hit the wall, not the wall, the bloody gravel. Oh no. I've dropped back on him and the Corvette's caught me up. He gets such a better exit than me there. I reckon the Volvo is really easy to plant uh, the power down because of that four-wheel drive, but I didn't think it'd be that good around the corners. Fuck. Now Cadillac's behind me, so it's game over. That's better in fourth gear. I don't know why I kept changing down to third. God, this is tense as hell. Mess that up, break too late. I was going much quicker because of the slipstream. Yes, everybody's gone off. The trouble is, we've got a lot of laps left, and they've all crashed. Right, this is beautiful. This was meant to be. I've worked my ass off to try and catch him up. Trouble is, we've got a lot of laps left. Plenty of time for me to either make a mistake or get caught up massively. Two seconds behind. Which is in second place? Is it still the Volvo? I'm going to leave that in fourth, I think. Third's not really doing anything around there. That's one of the hardest bits, that corkscrew, just to get the breaking point right, I think. Sorry if I'm not talking much in this, but I'm literally concentrating so much just to try and stay ahead of them. Properly difficult, this one. One of the hardest races I've had to try and catch someone up on, for sure. And the, the Viper's really good as well in this class, so just shows how hard it is. Oh, I'll just click the gravel again. Come on, I've got a good gap. I just don't need any stupid mistakes. I want them to dive bomb each other. Why didn't they dive bomb each other and they only dive bomb me? Probably because they take the same line.
Right, still the same order. Still Volvo, Z06, Cadillac, which has been in similar order for the last few um, races, actually. The only reason that Volvo is ahead is because it starts ahead. Oh, come on. 2.7. We are actually pulling away. Well, it's been a decent lap. Yeah, that was a good lap. I'm happy with that. Oh, someone's gone off. Possibly the Volvo. God knows what's going on back there. Two laps to go. Oh, this circuit. I've not had one easy race on the circuit, apart from actually being in that skyline the last episode. Or the episode before that. In the GTS. That actually dominated this track. So good to drive. So quick as well. I'm only winning because they're all fighting each other, really. Hey, actually got that perfectly on the brakes that time. Was that the fastest? That was good. Um, good lap. Probably close because that end bit wasn't quite as good. It's a tenth, but uh, that will do. Last lap. Come on. There's been some really close races in this so far. This um, episode. I think Laguna Seca has moved up into the lead for the hardest track. That's quite nice, that. That was too late. Oh, dear. Well, I did pretty consistently for that, so I'm happy. Last two corners are shambolic, but it doesn't matter. Look how much they catch up just in that little bit. Good enough. Absolutely solid, that race. The Volvo somehow managed to um, stay in second. But look at that Cadillac's lap. 21.9. I'd never, ever get that in my life. Very close. But if the Cadillac got into second, I'm sure that would have been very different. So a little bit lucky. And finishing off things with uh, the Nürburgring. Usually, this track isn't a problem. Key word is usually. Well, I'm going down to second place now. Oh, God, why?
Why do I do this to myself? This is meant to be easy. And yet I'm making a pig's ear of it. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, this is what you get for being an idiot. I, I shouldn't have said it was easy. Because I ended up just crashing, wasting the whole race. And now it's going to take forever again. I don't even know how I just managed to do that twice. This time I might actually get ahead of the Audi before the corner, maybe. Well, I've got to concentrate on not crashing this time. I don't need to drive quickly. These curbs are doing my head in. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic from the Volvo there. I love the way I just catapulted this spoiler like into Kingdom Come. That was brilliant. Fuck this, we're going around him like that. Now he's got no downforce because he has no spoiler. <laughs> Which is actually bad in a straight line, thinking about it. But hopefully he ran the corners. I don't think that makes a difference, but it'd be cool if it did. If suddenly you've got no downforce. Come my eyes are tired now. Two hours, ten minutes, straight. That Volvo is really quick in a straight line. an interesting way of going around the corner. And once again, I'm going to have to try and catch him up. I don't know what's happening with my driving style at the minute. I'm sliding all over the place. God. I can't afford to be overtaking it. It's official. I can't drive on this track on any game. Six. It's right behind me and I'm still miles away from this bloody Volvo again. I'm making it so much harder than it is this race, honestly. It's actually not a difficult race.
I'm doing all the wrong lines. Four seconds. I was miles ahead on my first attempt before I crashed myself right. He's slowed down massively there. That's good. And so did the Z06. Right, this is where I'm making the time back. Bit of a cheap, cheap way of doing it, isn't it? Where they just slow down on the bloody straights. Well, we knew it was just going to be in the middle of the track, didn't we? Uh. I still managed to spill on it. Oh, my life. How? <laughs> oh, dear. Now I've got two to catch up. He's suddenly spun me out then again. That just did not want to turn then. God, I'm driving so badly. It's unbelievable. I've run out of drive. Thank God it's two laps. Don't normally say that about the Nürburgring. Right, I'm determined for the second lap to go much better. Knew it's going to happen. Knew it. Oh, I've got some air. Right, so now I've got um, damaged left brake and damaged gearbox. They just brake in the stupidest places and I, I can't deal with it. Oh, this is torture right now. I just want to finish this race, please. I'm having a bad race. All the other races have been okay up until now. I don't know how a damaged gearbox affects you, in all fairness. We're close in speed. The Volvo is edging past me. Or towards me. This is not going to be the last collision I had, the other one. We're going to do something crazy here. making a meal out of this race. This car's understeering really badly now. Something's happened to it. Is it the brake that's damaged on that? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? 
It feels like it's understeering loads now, though. Yeah, you can tell the gearbox is damaged. It's taken ages to change gear now. Wow, that took nine minutes. No, there was loads of penalties, wasn't there, actually, in all fairness. I think changing down takes longer, it feels like. Right, we've got a bit of a lead now, so let's try and not crash and grind on curbs, which I've been doing quite often. Just went off the track there. Right. It's more smooth, at least, at this moment. Still dreadful. 31 seconds better at this point. That's insane. Oh, God, the understeer. Something's definitely changed with this handling. Ah, <sighs> thirty seven seconds. Closing in on the end of this episode. It's been another grueler. The P1's going to be really grueling. Something's actually caught the other two up in second and third. <sighs> it feels like I'm going slower. All the tyres are gone now. That might be accounting for some understeer, I don't know. And then he caught me out. Right, can I do this carousel without doing something silly? It's really hard to stay on that as well. I think the uh, Cadillac's caught up to those guys. These curbs are the bane of my life.
I've forgotten what car we even win. Is it a Viper? I'm just going cautiously round here now. This corner always catches me out. I feel like you can go quick around there, but you definitely cannot. I'm sliding too much. The tyres are actually going orange. Fifty seconds better. That's a bit obscene. Going much better this lap at least. I'm actually got a bit of a lead. This is how it should have been from the start, but I think this is where I crashed into the um, thingy as well. Volvo. God, done that terribly as well. That was not a, a good race. But the other ones were okay, so that's all that matters really. It's going to be a whole minute quicker. I'm 12 seconds ahead. Oh. Well, the Subaru, not the Subaru, the Nissan did a lap of 8.02. So I'm pretty sure I drove that better anyway, but this is going to be a bit slower. Quite a lot slower, actually. Well over 10 seconds. Done. Another one bites the dust. Who was second? Was it the Volvo? Was it the Corvette? It was the Corvette just ahead of the Volvo. That was well close, right at the end there. And the Viper was catching them up. Yeah, brakes, engine, gearbox, body, all of it damaged. But we have finished the series on full points, which is what we like to see. And we win our exact car we've been using, but the other one. Number 22. I thought that was number 22 we were driving, or was that 23? I don't know why they have two of exactly the same car, but there you go. I didn't really see that one too much. Complete events to unlock more cars. Congratulations, you've reached the final level of Forza Motorsport. However, there's still lots to do. Many cars can only be unlocked by completing events, looking for a specific car, trade over Xbox Live, blah, blah, blah. Um, So I think that is all the RGT events we can do. Let's just back out here. Right, first of all, I'm going to go through... I'll just have a look at that car we just won. I don't know why there's two of these in the game, because they're exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. Number 23, and apparently that's a year younger. Number 22. With worse top speed. Why? Okay, I'm not, um, not going to question that. I have 6 million credits in the bank. Over 6.5 million, actually. Right, so... In professional, we have got one GTS to do, so I'm going to do, going to go through the uh, the RGTS events and then the RP1 events because we've actually unlocked all them. But so we're going to do that one next, I think RGTS um, in the professional series. Then we're going to move over to the championship series, and then do we've done all them. So we've got an RGTS championship series, and then there's two P1s there, and then once we've done that. Then we'll move on to the Endurance RGTS. And then, then we'll go through the RP1s, which there's four of. So, I think that's seven, isn't it? Seven really long episodes to come still. Well, actually, no, it's because these two aren't too bad in terms of length. So, it's five really long episodes. And then once we've done that, we'll see where we are and see what we want to do next. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed, as always. And I'll catch you in the next episode.